our supermarkets are ramping up efforts to allow customers in lockdown to do their shopping online. Coles and Woolworths have reopened their home delivery services, with thousands more staff recruited to meet the demand. In our changing world, Woolies knows customers would prefer to avoid the aisles altogether. So we've hired a dedicated team to do the shopping for you. We've added thousands of new personal shoppers who personally pick a customer's order. At the height of the pandemic, home delivery was reserved for the vulnerable. But now Woolworths has reinstated online orders for everyone. And it is expecting unprecedented demand, hiring 5,000 staff to pack orders from within existing stores. And at this new pop-up warehouse in Melbourne's southeast. Supermarket giants also taken on thousands of drivers from Sherpa and Drive Yellow. What delivery? Well, we've got tens of thousands of new windows available, so we can serve everyone with home delivery now. As panic buying eases, Aldi has lifted purchase limits on long life milk, microwave rice, canned foods, and sugar. But toilet paper and paper towel are still being rationed. Coles has also relaxed its COVID-19 restrictions. Its click and collect and home delivery service are now available to everyone. But items will only be dropped at your front door, not at the kitchen table. We're expecting a very large uptake. It's probably the second most asked question after when will toilet paper come back. Jody Lee, 7 News. We have breaking news tonight and police have been involved in an incident on Chandler Highway in Melbourne's east. The details are just emerging. Melina Saras joins us now. Melina, what can you tell us? Well, Peter, this is a shocking story just developing. What we know is there has been an accident between Burke Road and the Chandler Highway. We believe there have been fatalities. There are unconfirmed reports two police officers may be involved in this crash. There are massive outbound delays as well. Drivers are advised to find another way home tonight. We're told it will be hours before the Eastern Freeway reopens. We will have updates throughout the bulletin. Mitch. Thanks, Melina. Melina Saras reporting. China is resisting.